okay good day guys today I'm going to show you um, how to add on more files like PDF words Excel PowerPoint or other video files in the current DVD playable video DVD okay first of all you have to get a DVD video existing uh, already in a DVD video format which you convert using the normal Nero uh, software so normally what you can see is the uh, these two folder here as you can see inside most of the files are actually um, either it's an IFO file or it's the VOB file format which is a standard used for DVD playable video uh, files okay it's a VOB format Okay, so normally you try to uh, play this um, DVD playable video. So you can actually open in any DVD players that you have used from your TV or from your laptop or computers. Okay, this is the one that I created earlier, which you can see in my another YouTube video. I show you how to. Uh, convert from the current uh, mp4 video into a dvd playable video with menu <coughs> okay so this one is a bit menu so you can actually click onto the menu and play the individual video here as you can see this is the okay so this is the the one that i finished with the hybrid as you can see there's a audio video folder as well as additional folder here inside there is a hybrid of several uh, different kind of file format like JPEG, like Photoshop, or even another different video format like WMV files. Okay, so how I do about it is very easy. Okay, first of all, you need to use the um, Nero Express or any Nero software they have to open a standard um, DVD. Okay, so normally when you open it, we use the video to and use the DVD videos to actually add on the uh, files but normally they allow the VOB or FO file so we do not want this uh, section so we go back we use the data instead okay data normally they cannot create the DVD uh, playable video uh, format but what happened we can do a trick here where you can trick the Nero software go to the data DVD <coughs> but what happened actually we try to copy the entire format here okay so make sure you always have these two folder here video and vid audio TS here so we actually try to highlight it and press copy and we go here and paste it okay something like that so make sure everything is uh, within the uh, 4.5 to 4.7 gig available for DVD okay so this one will take some time so I'm not going to wait here I will show you the one that is done okay this is the one that I have already added earlier so it's about um, less than a 2 gigs okay once you finish you will get this uh, pop-up notice here it state that you have an added DVD video content to a compilation type that will not result in a DVD video compliant disc. To create a disc playable in standalone DVD video players, please use the DVD video complete compilation type. Okay, this one is just an uh, illusion, so we just ignore this notice. So actually, we, it will eventually play in a DVD playable uh, player. Okay, once you added this, you can now add on the files that you wanted so this is the folder that contain all the different kind of uh, file format that you have including uh, jpeg uh, photoshop and even wmv uh, files video files here so we just add on the entire folder here this folder okay we add on here we add more of this so we go out here and yeah we add on the entire disk so you can add on as many uh, different folder that you want so long 
it does not exceed the capacity allowed. Okay, so you can see all the different different uh, file format inside. So it doesn't matter uh, so long you don't put all these files inside any of these two folder, it will be done. So when you press next, you can change your disk name here to anything like DVD, video, hybrid, and put a blank disk DVD uh, this into your writer here and you press burn okay so this one will take several minutes so I will show you the one that is done after you burn it so this is the one that I already um, uh, burn it so actually now you try to play it in any uh, DVD player actually it will still run as a DVD playable video format you know that you can run on your computer okay this one it will take some 10 seconds to load the video so we just wait for a while okay like that so as you can see it's already uh, in the menu base and you can actually open the file and now you can always see that they have a the standard uh, VOB file and also all the hybrid files that you have so this one is useful for some client that they want to send to their customer to to view the DVD player as well as they may have some other uh, different like PDF or image file that they want to add on to a DVD. Okay, thank you guys for watching.